I'm trying quiche for the very first time and it came out amazing so I have to share it with you. Hi everyone and welcome to Perima's Kitchen. Today I'm making the most delicious sardine quiche ever. You will need 3 cans of sardines, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a cup of feta cheese and a cup of cherry tomatoes, 3 eggs, 3 quarters of a cup of cream and one sheet of store-bought puff paste. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius and let's get started. If you don't have a non-stick baking pan for your quiche, then go ahead and grease it with some butter or use some non-stick spray. Next, you're gonna fold over your store-bought puff pastry, remove any of the packaging that would have kept it nice and moist, and keep the packaging in just in case you want to refreeze anything and this prevents them from sticking together. Ensure you press the dough firmly into the base and up the sides of your baking tin. Once done, I found using my knuckles made it easier to get it into place, especially around the circumference of your pan. Next, use a butter knife to cut off any excess pastry. Using a fork, you're gonna prick holes into the base of your puff pastry and creating these small holes will allow the steam to escape. Once you're done, we're gonna put our puff pastry into the fridge for about 30 minutes and this will prevent your pastry from shrinking when we start baking. After chilling, lay a piece of baking paper onto your pastry base. Thereafter, we're going to add baking beans. I didn't have any, so I just used normal kidney beans. And this was about a cup full of beans. And what it does is it prevents your pastry base from rising. Bake in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. While it's in the oven, I'm going to prep my filling. I added three eggs, three quarters of a cup of cream, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, And then you can season with salt and pepper. Go easy on the salt because you do have feta and your sardines, which is both salty enough. Once done, we can whisk. And now that the custard portion is ready of the quiche, let's prepare the rest of the filling. I'm using three cans of sardines, which was in vegetable oil. Once you've opened all of them, you can separate your sardines from the oil and this will make it easier to clean. Now this is all up to you, it's your preference whether you like to keep the skin on or not or leave the bones on even or not. I do to give it a little bit of a scrape. I then cut in the middle lengthways. And now I'm able to easily remove any of the bone or anything else that I want to remove, like the veins. We are halfway there and if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe, like and share. It helps my video by boosting the algorithm. Thank you so much fam. Once done, you can transfer all of your sardines to a nice clean bowl. It's been 20 minutes, let's remove our pastry base from the oven. As you can see, the edges are golden brown. 
We're gonna remove the baking bean. And now you're left with a beautiful pastry base that's flat and hasn't risen. Remember, it's gonna bake further once you've added your quiche fillings. Now don't throw away any of your baking beans, or in my case, my kidney beans. Keep them aside in a Tupperware in your drawer, and then you can use it again for the next time you want to bake. I'm pretty sure they're far cheaper than the actual baking beans as well. So we now want our pastry base to cool off. And while it's cooling down, we're going to prep our tomatoes and our feta. So simply one cup of cherry tomatoes, we're just going to halve them. And then one cup of feta, you can crumble them or you can just cut them up. And that's it for all the prepping we have to do. We can now assemble everything. I'm just giving my custard a bit of a quick whisk. My pastry is now nice and cool. Make sure it is cool before you start adding all of your ingredients. First, we're going to add our custard filling. Give it a little bit of a jiggle once you are done to make sure it's set in properly. And now you can proceed to add your halved tomatoes. Once you add them, just keep a few for the very, very end. Followed by adding your crumbled feta. Again, just keep a little bit for your very end. And then finally, your sardines. And once done, add the remainder of the tomatoes and the feta that you kept aside. Just gives a little bit more color on top. Bake your quiche at 165 degrees Celsius for 35 to 40 minutes or until the top layer is slightly golden and it has to be firm to the touch. Once your quiche is ready, Remove from the oven and let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes before serving. Now at this point, I was super delighted. I could not believe my eyes. I did this, a quiche for the very first time. Did you just hear that crispiness? Once it cooled down, I added some fresh basil leaves. And how pretty does that look already? Cutting into the crust was heavenly. I served my quiche not only with the basil leaves on top, I added a side salad and let me tell you, the pierce de resistance was the creme fraiche. I added a dollop of creme fraiche and the combination of the sardine quiche with the feta tomatoes the basil leaf and the creme fraiche wow it was like a party in my mouth absolutely delicious this was our world cup snack and guess who won this game viva la france as usual all the ingredients and the quantities used will be found in the drop down description below Thank you fam for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and share. I will see you again soon. Lots of love, Selena.